morning, Center Hill. Today is Monday, October 5th. It's National Get Funky Day, and MTV starts now. My name is Kalia and here are your announcements. Students, make sure you are following all the guidelines to keep yourself safe, so wear a mask, wash your hands, and stay six feet apart. Have you experienced any symptoms like a cough, shortness of breath, or sore throat in the last 48 hours? A recent loss of taste or smell? Or have you been vomiting, maybe even a little bit of diarrhea? If you are experiencing any of these symptoms or have been in contact with someone who has tested positive for COVID-19 in the past 14 days, please do not enter the school and make sure you stay at home. Homecoming is coming up and here are the dress up days. Monday is pajama day, Tuesday is old folks day, Wednesday is camo day, Thursday is out of this world, and of course Friday is spirit day. Here's your lunch menu and your weather. On Tuesday, September 29th, the first presidential debate was held against Republican nominee and current President Donald Trump and Democratic nominee and former Vice President Joe Biden. Some important topics that were debated on were the Supreme Court, COVID-19, health care, voting, and climate change, to just name a few. While the candidates did discuss these topics, many felt that the two were attacking each other more personally rather than discussing the issues that the American people wanted to hear. In these debates, each candidate has two minutes to discuss their views and give their opinions, and then there's an open debate which both can participate in. During the two-minute discussions, both candidates interrupted one another constantly, taking time away from the other. There are new rules and plans that might be implemented to allow the debates to run more smoothly. One of the things added to the debates is cutting off the microphone of either candidate if they break one of the rules. These plans have not been finalized, and the commission is still considering how it would carry out the plans. The vice presidential debate is set for October 7th in Salt Lake City, Utah. Kyle Heath, Mustang Television. What's up, Center Hill? My name is Caitlin, and this is your reality check. Today I'm going to talk to you about the rumor TikTok is being banned. We all know about TikTok and love it. Some of us have grown very popular on the app, and it's become very addicting. On September 25th, the U.S. judge ordered that Trump's administration either postpone its ban on TikTok or respond by Friday afternoon to a request from the app's company, ByteDance, to temporarily block the ban. As of right now, TikTok is owned by China's ByteDance. Gluck said, Americans will be the majority and ByteDance will have no ownership over TikTok Global. According to a person familiar with the deal, TikTok Global will be partially owned by ByteDance itself and will hold 0% of the company. In the United States, TikTok has roughly 100 million users and Trump claims the app gives Beijing access to the personal data of Americans. Trump obviously isn't okay with that. We all use TikTok, so what does that mean for us? As the situation goes on, the U.S. users could lose access to one of our favorite apps. Basically, under the terms of the threatened ban, whoever has TikTok on their phone can still post all the fun videos, but no new downloads of the app are allowed. U.S. could also not be able to receive security patches or new updates, which would basically cause glitches in the end. With the fear that we are going to lose TikTok, the downloads have skyrocketed. There is 12% to 247,000 in the United States on September 25th compared to the day before. Just imagine what it's at now. My advice to you is to use TikTok as much as you can right now before it starts glitching and eventually shuts itself down. I'm Caitlin Wilty, and that was this week's Reality Check. Come back next week for more. <laughs> Happy birthday to Sana Belganum and Tabitha Schubert. Go eat some cake and have a great birthday. Be sure to check the school website for more announcements, scholarship opportunities, and upcoming events. That was your show, Center Hill, and here's your quote of the day. 
If your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. John Q. Adams. Have a great day, Center Hill. Thank you.